Just small things like my foot position, hip position and stuff like that that ultimately contributes to like milliseconds, right? And if each step has a millisecond, if you multiply that by the amount of steps I'm doing, it will cut down a lot of time. So yeah, just all those small things I can definitely work on. You get stronger, of course, in the general preparation I'm going to be doing and yeah, hopefully run faster times than quick. really important meet for a lot of people that are going but um, how I approach it is that I should treat it like every other race. You know, mentality going in is um, focus on what I can control, what uh, my execution, my race plan. So yeah, I'm gonna bring that same mindset with me um, to all my races next year. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's exactly what I thought, you know, when I crossed the finish line after the 200. The first thought was like, what a season, you know, it has been, it's been so incredible. I've been so blessed um, with every opportunity I had this whole year. And on top of that, the whole journey I, I had to get there. Yeah, it made, it made the victory just a whole lot sweeter and, and even more so with my parents being in the stands and just people who are, have been in my support system for a very long time. I really hope my story can somehow inspire not just track and field athletes but you know people from every sport you know who's who's thinking of pursuing them maybe a bit more seriously than they are now. Um, I mean for me I found something that I love to do um, quite early on and I just worked hard at it, I pushed for it and you know I, I didn't give up because I knew this is what I wanted to do. So, um, you know, if anyone else is feeling the same way as me, I say go for it, don't be afraid to dream big.